It's okay. Put it down. This way, put it down. Put the housemates, put the housemates. Put it down. Ah, uh -uh. sharp. Oh, sharp. Away she went. Sharp car. Tomorrow I go move. Yes, so. Snap me with motor. Hey, brother, what's so up? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Becker. I'm so glad to have you guys here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly click on subscribe button before you leave. Also, give this video a very big thumbs up right now or at the end if you enjoyed watching it okay of course you guys know that today was the prize presentation to fina who is the winner of the big brother ninja season 7 level up edition okay and of course as expected you know the rest of the housemates were there to cheer her up you know people from the press just a bunch of people there and of course they gave us a tour around biggie's house one more time because you know they were inside biggie's house at some point but you know the presentation was done on stage and you know fina was called up to come get her cash prize of 50 million naira and her car key quickly 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 before he lost That's it, 50 million naira in cash for Fina as the winner of season seven for Big Brother Niger Level Up. You, how many hands do you want to carry this thing now? <laughs> And of course, she went on ahead to give a vote of thanks to her friends, her fans, you know, bunch of people, you know, the sponsors, Big Brother himself, the rest of the housemates. She just gave that and it was really nice. But guys, let me tell you, Fina, no call the shout again. I said, wait till they are for yes. See, this life, eh, we must get money because you get a sack go hold you. Eh. Any small talk where you talk, you will be like, say, you they shout because normally your voice will just loud anyhow. But once money land there, eh, if they get as your voice will be, you know, you don't go on shout because... Mm, Money don't do, you understand? I do not look finna, I say, Fina, I, I not be you be this, so what did they happen? Wait, mama, give us a shout. Ure! I say, ah, mad vibes, mad vibes. I love it, okay? Guys, let me tell you, something that made me really happy today, or someone that made me really happy today, was none other than Brian, guys. Brian just kept on smiling, kept on cheering Fina on, like, if you say I get money like this, eh, I could just go buy that guy a car because he had pure, he had pure. He was just there, you know, just hyping Fina and all of that. Just very happy for her, genuinely happy. I really cannot say that for the rest of the housemates because <laughs> I don't know, some of them just they behave somehow, you know, Amaka. Amaka, I don't just really understand her facial expression today. You can't bless it that they force him to smile like you know that this is a function that has to do with your facial expression your body movement like people are going to be really meaning to every single thing you do you get as if you take sip water they will say you rude you get as if you take wink your eyes crush and they will say you the eye person so you need to comport yourself like amaka did not comport herself today and for me that was very irritating you know she was smiling but it felt like she was forced to smile at some point she even pushed doing waka pass you know waka go where fina day i mean they expressed she won't go hug fina but she just really they stand like log of wood, one I really understand. Sometimes there's some things can be avoided. If you know for a fact that you know you're not feeling that vibe towards Fina, there's no point walking all the way to the front of the camera because you know that there were lots of cameras there that could capture anything. You can't reach there, just can't stand. You know, she was barely smiling. If she smile one second, the next second the smile don't disappear. I'm like, nah, this is not working for me. Like Amaka, what's happening? I'm just like, what? Not the only Amaka, some other house will just do anyhow. 
but i'm just really glad that you know baby brie big baby brie he was there to cheer her up i mean daniela was also there cheering her up doing you know doing still there to find um, food for cheesy say has cheesy eating i say ha this does it shift they move oh just the other day whether not yes the yesa uh doi was introduced to cheesy's family members say, yeah. okay i will be here i will be here who knows that better see me i love love so if not i love carry then go i go follow okay so i'll go to monitor things so they happen for that side but you know it was just really exciting seeing all of them excited like i said i don't know if it was genuine i mean chomzy was there today all happy all smiling bella yeah big bella was there she was just really smiling i just cannot say the same for uncle shags i feel like shags is really going through it like guys trust me when i say that shags is going through a lot and you know throughout today there was social distancing between bella and shags like it was just so awkward and it was very very obvious okay so this is not something you say oh let's try to compose even somebody asked bella you know tell us about shakes and all of that and she's like you know i just came out of the house i don't want to talk on that like what does that even mean like when are you going to talk about it what are, like <clears throat> explain it to me you and shakes <laughs> i mean i just came out right now so i won't be talking on that okay thank you thanks today if bella follow like this shags will follow like this at some point yeah chumsy was like bella where's your husband like madam you can see that there's tension between these two people you clearly saw that bella and shags just walks like this you know this one go like this one go like this and you ask and say where's your husband you did the wedding they invite you deji mate deji mate go go big shakes money good <laughs> i know she was saying it as a joke but then again the tension was just really too much and i did not think it was okay for chumsy to have said that but then again like i said she didn't mean it like hey i'm trying to attack bella she just asked a very harmless question that seems a bit harmful you guys get what i mean i just feel like there's actually problem in paradise you know i don't know what's happening between bella and shags and it was just really awkward today shags was just looking very serious but i just did once i'm like uh -uh, this social distancing is a lot it's a lot for us to ignore you know because we suppose not the way i should be by now the plan say okay santorini i'll be where they say they want to do that with the italy i'll be where they call but now i not call no way they want to do i not call no okay <laughs> but guys let me just tell you the event went well and of course the organizers of the show kind of mentioned some things to us and i'm like what for example they mentioned to us that about 1200 people were there hands-on to make sure that things were going as it should you know from you know setting up the arena for tax and all of that and just you know over 1200 people that's employment okay so when people say ah nothing they big brother they just, eh, 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 that's a lie 1200 people were employed okay they had things to do and they got paid for doing those things that's employment okay we were also made to understand today that they spent 4.7 billion naira to put this show together like 4.7 billion do you understand what that means like you know food obviously lights just everything everything that made the show what it was 4.7 billion naira like wow wow now for all the tax that they had in the house everything put together was 100 million naira yes 100 million naira and they had an accumulation of over 1 billion votes 1 billion votes and i'm gonna do that so i need to watch the show mm -mm. what i put getting from the show but secret hey, vote let me uh, uh, another, another votes and i'm gonna vote oh, but i'm gonna condemn the show mm this show is not doing anything it's not teaching anything uh, one billion votes over over <laughs> pretend it's not good if you don't like something talk and say i like her like me now and i don't say i like the show no need to they pretend say you don't like her but then you go to watch her they, they, they reduce volume raise the volume maybe for the year waiting with the talk 
raise the volume guys it's actually a lot of work putting the show together and just making sure that you know it comes out flawless even though there's no how they will do it flaws go still day we go still bash big brother and drag people but you know that's normal so imagine the amount of work that was put in just to bring this show together like well done well done guys like that's a lot i was just really impressed today i'm so happy for fina even though fina wants to hear my ear with horn pa 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 Ure! Ure! all my papers are intact oh my oh, i was just like fina please leave me alone leave me alone but guys i'm really excited for fina and i'm equally very excited for brian i feel like he has a very good spirit and people like that yeah good things that they tell locate them see somebody can just look at him and see how excited and you know genuinely happy he is for fina and decide you know what you deserve a car and they go ahead to buy it. sometimes it's not even about you being the winner your character now you go determine whether people go even help you or not you know people really need to learn how to fix their facial expressions and their body reactions just the way their body they move i don't really know i'm okay today just off he off guys let me know if you noticed it let me know if you watched the presentation you know just tell me what you think about everything that i talked about today okay i love you guys so much and i will see you guys on the next one all right bye